Hello there. Welcome to Medi Wellness, the kitchen segment. Today we prepare the best dried omena fish. Yes, fish. It's also known as sardines, and they are the fresh water fish from Lake Victoria, Kenya. To get the best omena, preparation is key. Good washing will remove any dirt or sand or obvious particles that are there. We actually soak in water for about two minutes, then give a gentle rub or wash. And I tell you, you'll see the dirt that settles underneath. You see, we're trying just to scoop what is on the top. And now as we sieve out, you can see a lot of dirt there. So we give it a second soaking again and then rinse out. You see, they look much cleaner, but look at what is coming out again. If you're not patient, this is what people cook in and they say it's bitter. Now we are going to give it a boil for about two minutes on medium heat. So we are covering it for two minutes after it has boiled. We'll scoop it out and then see again what is found in the water. You can see it's already clean. But you can look at the color of the water. It tells you what lays within. See? If you're not patient, that again is all that you're going to cook in your omena. And then you'll say that it is so bitter and it has a lot of sand. Now you want to cook or to dry it up. We can use whatever oil you have. You can use either the solid or the liquid oil. Whatever is available for you and add in some salt. Now we'll put in omena in the oil. But this time we'll use low heat and we'll keep checking with it after every two to three minutes just to see the process of browning. We want the end result to be brown and crunchy and quite dry. Now omena being a fish and it's not to be very, known to be very nutritious, rich in omega-3 oils, protein, vitamin D, calcium that is good for bones and strong teeth and muscle coordination and is also known to be rich in zinc which also helps in wound healing. It's also rich in iron that prevents anemia. So if omena is so good, why is it avoided? Now this is because of the perceived bitterness and the smell that accompanies omena that is not well prepared. But from today, if you follow this recipe, there will be no particles or smell in your omena. See, it's getting drier, it's crunchy already, you see? Wow, most of it is dried. And I can tell you, I smell it, there is no smell. Now just to preserve it even more and make it sweeter and remove that smell, Squeeze in one or two lemons depending on the amount of omena that you have. At this point, you can actually preserve this omena for many days, whether in the fridge or out there in your cabinet. So when it is very dry and crunchy, it's ready to serve. I prepared hot ugali and I have my kachumbari. I also have stew that I've made just on the side because it's too dry to be eaten with ugali there. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Follow us on other social media handles. Medi Wellness cares for you and your family.